All right, what's good, everybody? Welcome in. Watch us on YouTube or Facebook. Make sure you hit the like button if you're watching on replay. Make sure you say replay down in the chat below. We are going to be doing a live thrift haul. So we're going to be going over everything that we picked up today, live thrifting. Show you guys what we bought, what we paid for it, what we expect to get for it, all that good stuff. So we'll wait a couple seconds for everybody to come on and join in, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Got a little bit of goodies today. We don't we didn't get as much as we usually do. We usually get like four plus bags. We spend like four or five hundred bucks, but uh, today was a little bit drier at the store, which is fine. What's up, Central Illinois? Lily Pickles in the house. What's up, Katie? Welcome in. Welcome in. <clears throat> Set you guys up over here. Nancy, what's up, Nancy? Hello, Trisha. Hanger drop tomorrow. Trisha's got the hanger drop tomorrow. So those of you who want one of those flat light hangers that I, that I use all the time, Trisha's dropping them tomorrow in her TikTok shop. Um, there'll be $50 plus shipping and make sure you check your coupons because some of you probably have coupons available where you get a discount. Sometimes you get like a 20% off coupon, so that'll be $10 off that purchase price. That's pretty good. What's up, Jen? What's up, Rachel? Appreciate you guys hopping on in. Where's the, you wanna do the small bag first? Do that, do, yeah, do the small bag because it has that sweater. Get that one, right? No, this is stuff that has to get. Oh. oh, it's right here. This is the bag. This is the bag. What's up, Bobby? Hey, I found three good things today. She, and you found probably the best thing today. Best Easily. three things. What's up, Valerie? How are you? We're doing good. Um, Popeye, the sailor man. We have a famous person in our chat. Popeye the sailor. Popeye the sailor man. That's. Isn't it? I think that's a little too fast. Oh. I think you're supposed to slow it down. Popeye, what? I don't know. I haven't watched Popeye in forever. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember Popeye's song. Uh, seen a little of your life. Can't wait to see all the goodies. Let's go. Send you a box today. Let's go. Let's go. It's consigner. Let's go. Appreciate you. Yeah, we got um, three boxes in today, too. We got three other boxes in today. I got more boxes on the way. I think two more boxes on the way from one person. And I have closing the deal on another one. So we're gonna have lots of consignment coming in. Lots and lots of goodies. Really, really good stuff for our, for our shows. What's up, Zach? Um, do you offer free returns on eBay? On most items, we offer free shipping and free, or charge shipping and free returns. On some items, we do buyer pays return shipping, but everybody can get a return if they want to. There's only select few items that I don't do any returns on, and those are normally hype sneakers, that's it. The rest are all return returnable items. I need some clear poly bags. Link tree in my bio. Popeye the Sailor Man. Link tree in my bio will take you to my um, products we use on a daily basis. Those are where we have our clear bags linked. That's also on YouTube. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Kayla's gonna take the floor first because I made a post on my Instagram today and my Facebook today asking if you guys knew a brand and a lot of you got it wrong. So this is the item that she found. It was behind the counter. It was probably the best find of the day. So take it away. First, take let's away. start with that I won the like battle. Oh gosh, here we go. We did I forgot to bring Same that chat. up at the end. We chat. won the like battle. You this know is what why saying? we have to like the live, okay? Because this is what I get. <laughs> uh, we started the year off with a win, okay? Yeah. First live, first win. And you probably found the best item today, too. We should probably count how many wins. So by the end of the year, we can say that we won all 52, 52 weeks live surfing. We get <sighs> <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's what Trisha says. This is, okay. This is what I get. Let's play the game really quick. Name that brand. Name that brand. This Name is all I brand. saw that was hanging. I saw this and I knew we had to grab it. I knew it. Knew it right away. What is it? Llama Circle. <laughs> um, uh, Jimmy said um, Minecraft. Now I can't unsee it, but it's not <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> okay. So there's a couple people. There's yeah. one person that technically got it right. Two. Angela no. got it. Well, yeah, but this this is spelled wrong. So we can't give them correct. There we go. Zach's got it. Second Chance got it. Yeah, it's called PACA. PACA, not Peruvian Connection. Peruvian Connection is very similar, but Peruvian Connection will actually have the tag on the inside. This doesn't even have a tag. Yep. Peruvian Connection will say Peruvian Connection. This little alpaca dude with this, like, really neat embroidery right here is what you're looking for. Where did he go? It's on the other side. Oh, right here. It says the name on the back. Paca. It's 65% royal alpaca. And it's an extra large. It's comps super are soft. Good. Comps are really good. This should be at least a $100 sale 
all day long and it should sell really quick. I think it has over 100% sell through rate on eBay. Really so. good condition and it was half off. They have it as men's but it's women's. So I only paid 30 bucks for PACA. Yep. And that's all, literally, it was literally just hanging and I kept staring at it. I'm like, I recognize that. I know this. And then he grabbed it. So PACA, P-A-K-A. -A. Yep. And it's super soft, it's really nice. You can tell it's like quality. So that was my find of the day. Find of the day, probably the find of the day actually. Well, that I was a good one. We got two more things, but I think that one probably takes the cake. Mm -hmm. The rest is men's. Okay, I'll go through the rest and then we'll switch to okay. the ladies. Big money like Pringle. Um, how do you set up, have you paid them shipping, no returns? Um, when you do your shipping at the bottom, there's a spot where it's for shipping or for returns and you can do buyer pays return or seller pays return. Um, free returns or buyer pays returns. I have a uh, temp or have a, um, not a template, business policy that ha um, has it set up for all my listings that um, buyer pays return shipping on certain listings. Next up, this is a Viella shirt, really good brand to look out for if they are cotton and wool. If this is just a cotton shirt, I probably would pass it up, but because it's cotton wool, it is definitely a pickup. These always sell really quick within a month for me over on eBay um, for usually around 25 to 35 plus shipping. This one's like a special edition, like horse country shirt. Um, so I'm going to look this up and see if it's worth maybe a little bit more. It kind of reminds me of like Pendleton. Um, that'll get listed ASAP too. We promote all listings at 5%. Everything gets uh, promoted at 5 Next up, we got just a simple Ralph Lauren. I'm not going to talk too much about this because you already know Ralph Lauren. Uh, we love picking up. People make fun of us all the time for picking these up. Shout out Surfs. He's the one who got me into picking these up. Yesterday, I had somebody come in and buy 22 of these from, I think 22 or 26, I can't remember, from my eBay store for like 20 to 22 plus shipping. So yeah, I actually uh, refunded them all the shipping on theirs because I told them if they buy a bunch of them, I'll just give them free shipping. But still, they came through and bought like 20 plus of these. So yeah, Ralph Lauren does sell. It's our, my best selling brand this year so far. Yeah, we went up from 3% to 5% because I have a lot of people looking at my store. Little boy wants his mommy. What do you, what do you say? Is he, he calling for you? He needs a different channel. He needs a different, different channel. House. Different house. Next up, oh, by the way, uh, yellow tags were full price. So this was Alaskan headgear. Uh, I haven't really picked up this brand before. People keep telling me to pick, uh, pick it up. So I, I'm going to give it a shot. Um, it's like a stretchy denim look looking shirt. I thought it was denim, but it's not denim. It's like a stretchy polyester. Has the Alaskan headgear logo right there on the back. Men's size large. I paid up for this. We'll see how it does. If it does well, then I'll continue to pick it up. Was the person who brought to have a Japanese name? No, they had it shipped to Arizona. I thought it was going to be an overseas buyer, but it wasn't. They actually bought a bunch of different sizes. So I think they're going to open up their own like resale shop and they needed some inventory. So they bought a bunch of uh, Ralph Lauren pieces. Next up, this one was $6.50. This is a men's mizzen and main shirt. Really good brand to be on the lookout for. These always sell pretty quick. These usually sell for like 35 to 45. They kind of came down a little bit, which is fine. They'll still sell for 25 plus ship. So 650 and a 25 is perfect margins for me. This is probably something we're gonna bring to Whatnot anyway. Um, it'll always sell for more than 650 on Whatnot. Uh, Slick Willy, what's cracking? Fart Sack Jack, what's up Fart Sack Jack? This is a ladies item. I'll drop it please. Oh. By the way, we paid $326 for everything in these two bags. Any Western? We probably do. Have, well, that's kind of Western-y. It's a women's Western shirt, but uh, we have a couple Western pieces, but not too many today. Next up, Paul and Shark. This is a good size. It's size, size 2XT. Um, if you guys remember, they had this priced at $35, um, and nobody picked it up because it was way too high of a price. Um, and they priced it down. If you see on that tag, it says R on the uh, right-hand side, left-hand side. It says R on the um, left-hand side. That means they reduced the price on this piece. Um, they do watch my videos, so it's completely, completely fine. They saw me picking up Paul and Shark. They listed it up. Nobody's gonna buy Paul and Shark at a thrift store for $35. They might buy it online, but not at a thrift store. So after sitting there for four weeks, they decided to drop the price and I paid $5 for the shirt. I'm going to sell it for around 30 to 35 plus shipping. Might even be a little bit more because it's a big and tall size. Um, but yeah, it, it wouldn't sell for that. It's too niche of an item for a thrift store to sell for 35. So they kind of sat on it for a while and they decided to- You have to a whatnot move. question. Um, will Saturday's whatnot be random pull or preloaded? Everything will be preloaded for Saturday's show. We should have it loaded. I was gonna have it loaded today, but I took another nap. So it'll be loaded on Friday. Appreciate the gift. Whoa. 
have antlers. Um, do you still have the spreadsheet? Do I still have a spreadsheet? I have Jason's spreadsheet, which is linked in my bio. I suggest everybody this year to keep up with their numbers. I kept up with my numbers all last year. It was perfect. Anytime I got a question about how much profit did I make or how much money am I making, or how much money did I make this month, I was able to go into Jason's spreadsheet and literally pull the answer super fast. So if you guys need a spreadsheet, Jason's is linked in my bio. Use my code. You get 10% off. It's the best reseller spreadsheet out there. Keeps track of everything for you. So you need to have a spreadsheet going into 2024. You need to be able to pull your numbers at any time. So do get, get Jason's spreadsheet. It's amazing. Next up, we got Faherty or Faherty. I think is how you pronounce it. Again, this was priced at like $35. And if you see that on the side, it has an R on the tag right below my finger, which means this was reduced. It was reduced to 14 or 15 and that was reduced half off. So we only paid $7.50. This should go for around 35. So they tried to get market price for it. They couldn't get it. And then I came in and got it. Um, can we reuse the spreadsheet? You can, so you can you can download the spreadsheet. Oh, is there a mark? It needs to be washed. It should come out. Um, you can reuse the spreadsheet. All you have to do is make a copy of it. So literally when you get his spreadsheet, I would just make a copy of it and you can use it year after year. I'll say that he does add new things to a spreadsheet every year that makes you want to buy a new one. For example, if you make money online in other ways like social media or you have other business ventures, you can buy the creator spreadsheet and you can keep track of other income coming in along with your reselling income too. So he added that this year. It's a game changer, especially for somebody like me who makes content online, who has money coming in from uh, multiple streams. I'm able to keep track of everything, literally everything, literally everything. I don't need multiple spreadsheets. Next up, Polo Ralph Lauren. Um, this one, actually, this is just Ralph Lauren. This one was just four bucks. It's just a nice flannel shirt. So this is $22.99 plus ship. Size on Faraday, it's a size XL, right? There is a small spot on it. We just we just discovered when she laid it down. Large. It's an extra large, but there's a small spot. If you're interested, you can hit me up. I'll, I'll take a picture of it and send it to you. It's like super small, um, but we'll wash it. We'll see if we can get it out for you. Check your instant messages. Oh yeah, I, I think I saw that you messaged me. I'll look at it after this live. Um, hello, where's the boss, Kayla? She'll be on the screen, don't you worry. Don't you worry. All right, I didn't look this one up, but Reisner told me it was good. Um, we only paid $3 for it. $3 for it. It is a Visla shirt, V-I-S-S-L-A. I've heard of this brand before. When I touched it on the rack, like Visla, I've heard of that before. It's like a denim shirt. Um, I think she said it was going to go for like 35 to 45, somewhere around there. I didn't even look it up. $3 into 40. That's perfect for me. Um, I will show the Western. I might be interested. Here, show the Western shirt. Um, so it's a Western-esque shirt. It's Yeah, so it's a Harley Davidson. It's a women's medium. Harley Davidson. It has a button or pearl snaps. I mean, is this Western? Did you yeah, it's definitely Western. It has a big style. embroidery, Harley Davidson. It's really nice on the back. Yep. Nice lightweight. If that's that counts the, for... That's the Western uh, item. That one's going to go into Western. the list oh. uh, later pile. Oh, is there a hole on it? Wow, we missed the hole. Never mind. It's not going to be for sale. It goes to the garbage. It goes to the garbage. There's a there's a hole at the bottom. There's a nice little rip. So that that's gonna go into the garbage. That that happens. That happens. Next up, we got a Ralph Lauren. This is a men's size XL Ralph Lauren. It's got the little colored logo on the front, which sometimes is a little bit more desirable. Paid five dollars for it. Um, this is again twenty two ninety nine plus ship. We'll get this thing listed ASAP. Is that boss lady? That is my that is my boss. Don't say anything bad while she's here. I might get fired. Next up, we've got a Ralph Lauren, another one. A little $5 Ralph Lauren, size medium. Uh, nice pattern to this one. Has the chest logo on the front. Not going to get into too much detail. $22.99 plus ship is what we list those at. And then this one I didn't... Um, keep that right there. This one I didn't look up. I think I looked this up last week. And these go for like... 50 to 70 plus shipping, something like that, if I can remember correctly. It's a Bonobos. Um, it's made with that fabric right there. Um, just a nice like jacket. It's like a, like a professional looking jacket. Um, should go for, like I said, 50 to 70, I believe is what my comps were last week. Passed on it last week, we decided to pick it up this week because it was half off. Oh, there's one more thing in here. And last item is we found a bunch of these today, but they weren't half off. We picked up the ones that were half off. This is a men's chubbies pair of shorts. These will get held and they will get listed in the summertime. These always sell really quick in the summertime. I wish these were my size because I actually think I could rock some chubbies. I might actually have to buy some chubbies because these are these look comfy. 
Is this line too? It's not line, but these look comfy. I might have to buy chubbies. Um, but yeah, chubbies and then there's the back. Um, when you open these up and you're looking for them, there is no brand tag on the back, so they're a little hard to spot. You can typically spot them by the design, but the actual um, tag is down on the inside pocket. So it's way down on the inside. So the way you spot these is the design and then on the back, they'll say chubbies. That's the easiest way to spot. Um, these will go for like 20 plus ship, 22, 25 plus ship come summertime. All right, bag two. We only got one more bag left and then we're done. Not too much. Um, um, do you, do you butt Ralph Warren caps? Okay, buy. Buy Ralph Warren caps? Oh, like hats? No, I wouldn't really buy too many hats to be, to be honest. <clears throat> Um, I bought the spreadsheet today through your link. Uh, there was no place to put Kway Shop for discount. Um, if you clicked my link, it should go through. You should be you should be good. The discount code will be at checkout. When you're going to checkout, there's a little spot for a discount, and you put in Kway Shop right there. If you didn't get it, that's that's fine. That's all good. You just didn't get the discount. I can fix it. It's not worth sending to you. The 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 Harley Davidson shirt is like a. We're gonna put on whatnot. It's like a twenty dollars sale. So by the time we ship it to you and ship it back, it's not worth it. Appreciate the uh, appreciate the cap. All right, is some of the stuff yours or is it still mine? Your stuff to the bottom. Okay. All right. Next up, little Ralph Lauren piece. Again, um, paid ten dollars. Oh yeah, this is right. I paid ten dollars for this Ralph Lauren shirt. It looks kind of weird because it's just a simple size small Ralph Lauren shirt. Typically, people would pass this up for ten dollars. I didn't pass it up because it is. 54% silk and 46% linen. So these always sell really well. Um, this is like a 35 plus dollar sale, 35 plus ship. Um, I think I'm actually gonna list it for 40 plus ship. Um, Cause I think the last XL and large sold for more. So I'm gonna list it a little bit higher. Next up, I think this one's already sold, but the person hit me up on TikTok shop. If, if you guys are interested in anything, hit me up on Instagram, not TikTok shop. Cause I, I don't sell this kind of stuff through TikTok shop. I'd sell it directly to you so there's no fees and I just take PayPal or Venmo. Um, but this is a Ralph Lauren shirt. We did pay $20 for it, but it's got a really, really nice print to it. Really, really nice hit on the front, has a hit on the sleeve and it's got a big three on the back. I believe this is already sold for $40 though. So that's gonna go in the pile. Will Viore shorts sell with broken back? Is it, oh yeah, those, those Viore anything will sell. Um, it just won't sell for as much as it usually would, but that, that'll still sell. How many items do you have listed at a time? We have over 2,200 current listings. Did you just leave them on and items after a while? Um, I just leave them on. We use auto posture, auto posture ends our listings and then creates a brand new listing for us and moves it to the top of search. Next up, this is a Lacoste. Uh, I paid $5 for this Lacoste shirt. It's just a nice long sleeve, solid black Lacoste shirt. Very, very nice. Um, these always sell really quick for us, right around 25 plus ship. Auto posture um, or die trying. There you go. AP or die trying. Are you sure your items are in here? Are you sure they give us? Oh yeah, this. I see the Tucker Nuck right there. Mm -hmm. The Tucker Nuck. All right. Um, this was a pretty good find too. Um, Seven dollars and fifty cents. This is a Versace collection polo. It's got the Medusa head right there on the front. Nice little polo shirt. I found one of these at another red, white, and blue recently. And here's another one. The other one I paid up a little bit more for. So this one should go for around 40 to 50 plus ship. Nice, easy sale right there. I'll take that. You'll take what? You want the, you Ralph want the Lauren. Ralph Lauren? You can't have it, surfs. You're not allowed to have it. Um, he sells out, wait. He says, sells out from under me on purpose. He sells out from under me. What does he mean? Does, 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 is he speaking English? Is he speaking English? I don't think so. Um, <laughs> do you have any electronic or still mainly focus on clothing? It's still mainly uh, clothing. We mainly do clothing. Um, next up, we got a straight down shirt. I was wor or straight, straight down quarter zip. I was worried because there uh, I didn't see the size tag, but it's actually right there. It's a men's XL. It's a pretty decent brand. These used to sell for a little bit more. They're kind of going down a little bit, but I still should be able to get around 25 plus ship for this shirt or for this uh, sweater. So we'll get that listed ASAP. Do you keep up the spreadsheet? Um, hang on, I just missed your questions. Um, do you keep up on spreadsheet what store you got? No, we don't do that part, but you can do that part if you want to track exactly where your most profitable store is. It's super easy to do. Um, how much do you make a month? 
See, I can answer that question because I have Jason Hayes spreadsheet. So all I'm going to do is log into Jason's spreadsheet really quick. I'm going to go to month and December. We'll just use December. Um, actually, November was my best month, but we'll use December. Um, December, we did $31,768.50 in sales. We sold 955 units and our profit on that before taxes was $10,755.33. That's because I use Jason's spreadsheet. That's how easy it is to, to pull numbers. I got a Ralph Lauren golf shirt, but one button is broken. I would probably pass on that. Anything wrong with Ralph Lauren shirt, even if it's a small stain, I normally just pass on it because they're super hard to move if there's any stains on them. Any flaws. Um, and if you want to list it, list it super low so you just get a quick sale. But I'm always worried that you're going to get a return for that. Next up, another Chubby's piece. This is a really good Chubby's piece too. We're going to get this listed. I might even throw this up on whatnot. This is a men's Chubby's corduroy. Um, we paid $10 for this. It is a super nice corduroy shirt. It looks almost brand new. Um, good size, on season, um, and we only paid a whopping $10. So on eBay, this is $35 plus ship. On whatnot, I don't know what that is, but that's a that's a good one. Good corduroy shirt. Have you ever sold counterfeit unknowingly? No. I've never got notified like... Hey, bro, you sold some counterfeit stuff. Never. So, yeah. Jason's spreadsheet is amazing. I just saw it on, but I'm curious. Do you file your taxes quarterly? I don't. didn't this year because I didn't know about the 8% rule. I probably will next year. I'll at least this give. Year. Yeah, this year. I mean, yeah, this year. Yeah, next year. Next year. This year, I'll probably do it. Last year, I didn't do it. But now there's like an 8% extra fee. Um, I probably will file. I probably give some to the government every every quarter. I probably won't give the full amount because I always like having extra money on hand. Before, I used to just pay it at the end of the year. And last year, they just gave it all the penalty that I paid back. They just literally gave it right back to me and said, don't worry about it. Um, but this year, I don't think they're going to do that. So, yeah, I probably will. I'll, I probably will give some quarterly, but talk to your tax advisor, see how much you make and see if it's worth it for you to give quarterly or just pay that little extra penalty and have that money in your pocket. Next up, $5. This is a Brooks Brothers. This is a wool Brooks Brothers shirt. I've never actually found a wool blend Brooks Brothers shirt. So this is kind of like the Viella. It's 20% wool, 80% cotton. I don't know how this is going to do, but if I had to guess, it's probably going to be like $30 plus shipping. It's gross for 135 days, 135K profit or gross for the 135 days. For the 130 and it's 130K in 100, where'd you get 135 from? Um, 130K in 130 days, that's not gonna be gross. Um, we need to have that as profit to pay off the house. So we have to have that like in our bank. Um, but here's the thing, I know a lot of people are like, how are you gonna do that? We, we already have, hang on. We're gonna, we're gonna run a lot of stuff that we already have listed on eBay and we're gonna run it on whatnot. So right now on eBay, we have we have $113,000 of listed inventory. I know that's not going to it's not going to sell for the same price on whatnot as it is on eBay, but even if it sells for half, we start with $60,000. If we ran everything that we had on eBay. Probably not going to run everything, but we're going to run a good chunk of what we have on eBay to get us like really started off. So, yeah. We, we, we will definitely hit our goal. So that's already money that we've already invested in our inventory. So there's no cost of goods for this year for that because we have already bought it last year, if that makes sense. I think the rest of this is yours. Oh, never mind. This is a Lacoste Live size three shirt. Um, I think three is a bad size. I think it's a size smaller, extra small, but we only paid $3 for it. It's got the big Lacoste logo on the front. So um, this probably won't sell for too much, probably like 20 to 25 plus ship, somewhere around there. I'm trying to see. Oh, I think this might be my last one. Um, Peter Millar. This one had a bunch of logos on it, but I feel like it's special because um, I've never seen logos all over a Peter Millar shirt like this. So it has a logo here on the, we paid $6 for it, by the way, has a logo here, has the logos all over the chest. I feel like this was like a professional golfer's shirt because typically when you have a, a logo, it's only on the chest. It's not all over the shirt. So I'm going to look this up. It might be a bad buy, but if it's worth if it's something special, it'll be worth a little bit more. We'll, we'll look it up and see if I can get a little bit more out of that one. Got to be a tour polo. That's what I was thinking. Like, especially with the, you don't typically find a Peter Millar shirt with a collar hit. You find foot joys with collar hits, but you don't find Peter Millar with that. And it has the big logo on the back, which I believe sometimes would be a tour logo, but I have to do more research on it. So when Instagram profile is the one to message you regarding the consignment, um, it's just K-Way Shop. I'm K-Way Shop on all platforms. So feel free to reach out to me there. 
Are you going to continue listing on eBay? Yes, we'll still continue listing on eBay during this process. We're not going to stop listing on eBay completely. We just probably won't list as much as we were last year. Your turn. Batter's up. All right. I think that's yours, though. Is that mine? No, that's no, yours. No, that's me. I just found it, but it's yours. Okay. So, good job, you. Mm -hmm. See, he's learning, guys. Some Eileen Fisher. We love finding Eileen Fisher. It is extra, extra small. That does not bother me because this is... 95% cashmere, I think. It's very soft. 95% cashmere and 5% wool. And that's the key to Eileen Fisher is the fabric. So really super soft, really pretty, nice beige sweater, long sleeve shirt, and it'll probably go for around 30, 35. And we paid... 750. 750 for it. Yay, the winner of the like battle. The winner, I'm oh, here. Oh gosh. See chat, this is why we gotta like my live. This is what I gotta deal with. Uh, you're just upset because I won. <laughs> and you're live like 10 minutes before me. I'm still you don't live. go live right away? No, I wait till I get to my spot. Oh. I don't like, like walk in. Because I feel like I'm gonna walk into somebody by accident because I'm gonna be mm. too busy paying attention to my phone. I'm mm. gonna run over a poor person there. Just take them right oh, out. Oh, take them out? I don't wanna do that. There's no poor people at our store though. They're all rich people. <laughs> well, I'm gonna run over somebody. Is what I meant. Not what they I mean, made. You said run over poor people. That's pretty bad. I said a poor like you should at least poor soul that's gonna be in front of the cart that I run a over. Poor soul. Anyway, right. yeah. Okay. Everybody kept telling me this is fabulous. Um, we paid two dollars. Little sleepies. It's a pajama top. I mean, it's super cute. I know nothing about it to be honest. I've never. I don't really know pajamas all that well. I check out. The pajama section for the barefoot dreams and you can find marine layer and sweaty betty in there too um that's why i always check it out when we looked it up i think it was about <coughs> 20 25 so we shall see i love little sleepies okay so yay I, I followed i followed you guys chat said yes everybody's excited about it so plus ship that's worth it because that's two into 25 plus ship. yeah I'll it's cute it's day. soft like i would wear that to bed. that's nice but I, I don't I don't really know pajamas. That's my first time picking that up. So little sleepies is great. Okay, so all right then. Little sleepies is great. Little sleepies. All right. I like little sleepies. Yeah. I like big sleepies. Some anthropology. These are a size large. We paid seven fifty. These are nice camo joggers. These I picked up specifically for whatnot because they're a good size, nice print. They're like lightweight joggers. So this will sell for whatever um, whoever takes it on whatnot. <laughs> that will be what it sells for. Noise. For you? Mm-hmm. And then you found... Mm -hmm. Did I teach you this brand? Did I actually teach Tucker, you something? Tucker Nook, yeah. Some Tucker Nook. This is a really good woman's brand. I don't find it. I found it like one other time. And then he found it today for seven fifty. The other one we found too sold really fast. So. Isn't this made out of something? I don't Didn't know. you say it was... You just zoomed in. Oh my God. What did I do? I didn't mean you to... Just, oh, you took away chat. That's what you did. Sorry, chat. Oh, he has to do it. No, it's not made out of anything. Can you fix it? I don't know what it did. See, I can't touch things because I break things. There you go. Oh, okay. Little sleepies are going crazy. Kids sizes sell well too. Yeah, we saw a lot of kids when we looked it up. It's like a kid's thing. But they make like adult pe like matching PJs. It's called Tucker Nook. And it's, this is... Um, no, it's sport. called Tucker Nook. You gotta, you gotta pronounce it with a little country twang. Oh my gosh. Uh, because Nook. I don't always find this brand, I have to look this up. Um, the last one we sold, how much did that shirt sell for? 40? I think, yeah, 40. It's like 40 bucks, and it was just a plain, like, eyelet white shirt. So I have to look this up. But I knew for 750 we were taking it home, so. I love Tucker. me some Tucker Nook. Nook. I can't say it. One of my favorite brands pickups, is Tucker Nook. Bamboo Moms are crazy. I don't know what that is. Is that? Please. Should I know what that is? Bamboo Moms. I don't know. Mm. I missed something. Are you a Bamboo Mom? I don't know what that means. I missed something in chat. Okay, and then we found some Janu. Good size, 2X. This is a women's scrub top. We paid a dollar, dollar fifty for it. This should sell for like 18, 18 bucks on eBay plus ship. Those are like maybe even like seventeen plus those are like ship. Bins prices. Yeah. Dollar fifty. They were pricing these up a little bit, like five bucks, but I haven't found Janu in a long time, so. Mm -hmm. Oh. Any are bamboo moms like um I don't know what Material is made with bamboo. On what? Oh, with the probably the Tucker Nook, maybe? I don't know. Probably the Tucker Nook. <laughs> I missed I missed a whole thing. Moms like to dress their kids in bamboo clothing, like material. Oh, it's this little sleepies thing. Oh. Oh, maybe it's like natural, so it's like 
You're not putting. You're not putting. Gotcha. Oils like and organic. Like polyester on your baby, so they're not sucking in the chemicals. Little sleepies. Oh, Probably put potatoes on their feet. The when little they go to sleep. sleepies are bamboo. Yeah. Put little potatoes in their socks. That so sucks in all the chemicals at night. Puts little oils. All I heard it was supposed baby. to be onions. Onions. Is it in onions their socks? or potatoes? Yeah. Well, I do. I like essential oils. My witchcraft. So, mm. you know. All right. Then we found some Lululemon for a whopping four dollars. Just a simple black T-shirt, which may or may not belong to me. I haven't decided. Um, mm -hmm. You know. So I think it was just. Decided. If not, it's gonna end up on whatnot. But I'm. Pretty sure that's gonna. You guys be will mine. never see this on whatnot. <laughs> you'll, never, you'll see me wearing that for yeah. a whatnot show. You'll see her wearing it on a whatnot show. <laughs> Somebody will be like, "Run the shirt!" And be like, "Nope, it's mine. <laughs> You're not allowed to have this." Um, and then I found these pants that are, I'm not sure. They're new at Tag Athletas. These are called the Release Pants. They were seventeen fifty. Seventeen fifty. They're super soft, like lightweight, like flowy pants. But they have this, so I'm kind of... For the back? I don't the know. Back? I'm yeah. kind of confused. But shows, I grabbed these for whatnot. Shows the butt crack. It's a 2X, so they're a really good size. Athleta. So, yeah, I grabbed these for whatnot specifically. But yeah, most of those called the happy release pants? They're called the release pant. Oh, somebody said that in the chat. Happy Maybe for maternity? Pants? I mean, it doesn't say maternity, but... I'll have to look up uh, comps and yeah. how they look. Some Athleta does really well, so... Oh, yeah, it might be for the belly. The little belly thing to hold the belly up. Oh, maybe. I mean, it doesn't say maternity on it, but... Yeah. I've never found Athleta maternity before. Hmm. Well, then that'll be really good if that's maternity. Because these are a 2X. I don't know. I'm not sure. I we'll guess we'll have to more. do our research on it, but... Yeah, we'll just look up how, how they're photoed, and that's, that'll tell us. And then... Can't touch this. I have the same bag, just in gray. Lululemon bag for 22 bucks shout out to i think her name is angel or it's it's spelled e-i uh e-i-n-g-e-l i think it's angel angel yeah that's one of the cashiers our somebody, bestie somebody decided I always say bestie. somebody decided to <laughs> leave this behind they didn't want it so she's like do you guys want it and we're like of course it does need to get washed i have this exact same bag i use it i mean you've seen me on lives and stuff i always have my side bag i'm gonna toss it in the wash probably with mine um, the logo is a little scuffed. It's metal. Obviously somebody loved their bag. Um, but it's legit. I checked it. It's exact as mine, like I said. So I don't know if we're going to put it on whatnot or if I'm going to keep this one and put, the other put one my on gray one on whatnot. I haven't decided. But you might see this Katie again. Katie says, I want that. Katie wants it. All right. Um, well, you do you might... want it washed? I mean, yeah. I'm going to have to wash it. Let's wash it for Katie. Katie, you'll probably get this one. Or the gray one, depending on what Kayla wants to do. Yeah, either the black one or my gray one. I have to wash my gray one, too. Okay, then we found literally my third one in a week. Money, money, money. Some new at tag. Johnny was. MSRP 160. This tag was 75% off. So it was 20 bucks, And I wanted to check because they feel silk. No, they're viscose, but they're super soft. Nice. Johnny was. New at tag. I think this was the first thing I found. We didn't find Is too much silk? stuff. No, it's viscose. Oh, viscose? Well, it's just basically silk. Yeah. It's pretty nice, faster. lightweight, super soft Johnny Buzz. These are definitely going on Whatnot, by the way. So if you haven't signed up oh, for Whatnot. Oh, my God. I just realized there's tigers. Nice. <gasps> How cute is that? Yeah, I thought it was flowers, too. How cute. If you haven't signed up All for right. whatnot, go through the link in my bio. Sign up, get your $15 for free. Because stuff like this is going to be run for a dollar. Literally a dollar on whatnot. So get your $15 off. Some Johnny, like Johnny was. New at tag Johnny was. I don't know how I keep finding these things. And the most, I don't know, it just keeps happening. Okay, so learned a new brand. Oros, hopefully I'm saying that correct. We paid $10 for it. Um, Surf's happened to be in the chat. And he gave me the thumbs up. When you looked it up. It was money. We looked at what did what was it i think it's like 80 to 100 plus ship a woman's it's got the kangaroo pouch just simple i don't know if that exact style was 80 to 100 but there was a bunch still it's on for 80 to 100 so i'm gonna go with 80 to 100 yep. and this is just says oros on the side so new brand to us excited about it we'll let you know when it sells and how much it's sold for so may ask how do you do your consignment so consignment posts go on my instagram it explains all about consignments it's 70 30 splits you get paid out within two days after your items are run. Typically, if you get your items to me on Monday, 
your items will be run that week. Um, so if they get run on Tuesday, you get paid out on Thursday for the items that sell uh, on our whatnot shows. Everything starts at a dollar, but we have a ton of people in our show. So typically our items go up to a decent amount. So just a quick way for resellers. If you have a huge death pile, send us your stuff. We'll sell it. But we're only taking items that sell for 35 or more on eBay because they're probably going to go for like 25 ish on whatnot. So by the time you ship it to us, we sell 10 of your items. It'll make sense for you. If you only ship one of your items and it only goes for typically $20 on eBay, you're only going to get like 15 bucks for it. It doesn't make sense. So 10 plus items, 35 plus sales, reach out to me on Instagram. A couple of you already did today. I haven't got back to you, but I will um, after this live. That's how it works. When is your next whatnot show? Claudia, it's this Saturday at 8.30. Yeah, I'm going to do a consignment unboxing probably tomorrow. I haven't made that show yet, but it's probably going to be tomorrow at 8.30. I have one last huge um, consignment box to open. Um, And then our next real dollar start show is Saturday. And then the 130K to 130 days starts on Tuesday of next week. Tuesday of next week, 130K and 130 days. Five auctions every single week. Crazy pieces in every auction. Some more Eileen Fisher. This is an older tag. That's fine. It was $10. This is 100% linen. Nice, longer, lightweight. Eileen Fisher should go for around 30 Nice, nice little piece. lightweight Always knit so fast. Eileen. Um, is there a limit to the consignment? We tried to ask for 10 pieces again because by the time you ship it to us, it makes more sense. The more you ship, the better you get on shipping per item. Um, so it makes more sense for you. You can ship less than that, but you're just going to make less money per item. So that's why we asked for 10 plus. So you get a decent profit. It's This is for both parties to win, not just for us to win and make 30% off the stuff you send us, but I want everybody to win. That's why we do 70, 30 splits. So 10 plus items is usually what we ask for. Do you do Eileen on whatnot? No, I don't think um, it's one of those popular, everybody knows. Um, so that goes on eBay, but it does really well for us on eBay. There is no max. You can send me a thousand items if you want. If they're 35 or more and they're good sellers, I'll take a thousand items. Um, the person I do consignment with, what'd you say? Ella? Oh, I almost said his name. Uh, what'd you say he gave me? Um, he probably gave me around 200 ish pieces on his last shipment and he has mm-hmm. three more boxes on the way. So yeah, um, he sends a lot of stuff. So you can send me as much as you want. It does not, it doesn't, doesn't matter. And we will take care of it. We'll get it all sold within like a week or two if you send me a thousand items. Beta Brands. These are size medium. Paid three dollars for them. And I'm probably going to put these for 20. 20 plus shipping over on eBay. These used to go for more. Yeah, these used to go for 30. Um, They just don't anymore. So we're going to do 20 plus ship. But these are like dress yoga pants. So I mean, Mm. I would... I would buy yeah, these we used to list these for like we used to list these for like 35 and they they've been yeah. selling for like 25 ish 20 to 25 so don't price your betas too high otherwise they'll sit forever mm-hmm. then we got some zaya active joggers these are a size large we paid five dollars nice like super soft joggers these will end up on whatnot i'm yep. thinking they're nice like got like a fleece outside for what not. Mm-hmm. If not, if I were putting these on eBay, I'd say about 20. Your cut is 30%, yes. We we do the 30. It's not 70, 30. Oh, we take 70, that wouldn't be, yeah, that would be, unless unless our items start selling for twice as much as eBay prices, we would never take 70%. That would be crazy. That's it. That's it? We didn't, oh, yeah. that's what I got. That's all we got. We actually did a bunch of retail arbitrage today, but we can't show you that stuff. That stuff's gonna be hidden. We found some really, really good RA. <laughs> Uh, we were going to go to more stores, but shout out to Kat. She had to have us Uber her to a, uh, to, we had to be her personal Uber today because she needed a, she needed to get dropped off at a car dealership. So we had to stop, like we were going to go to like two more stores, but thanks Kat. But tomorrow we're going to go sourcing. We're going to film a YouTube video and I get to use my, I get to use my GoPro for the first time and I'm going to wear the chest mount. So I'm going to look like mm-hmm. one of those <laughs> reseller social media people that walk around with the chest mount. So we'll see how that goes. Also, YouTube, I can go live off of my GoPro at home. So I'm planning to do some lives where we're listing and you guys get to see first person like me listing, doing the listing on the computer, then going and taking the photos first person. Like you'll be able to see me hang the item up, take my photos, see the phone and everything. I didn't realize you could do that on a GoPro. So um, we're going to do some first person like day in the life videos. So you guys will be able to see like everything that happens in like an hour or so between listing photos all that good stuff um yeah i'll just wear the chest mount or i have a head mount 
when we were the head mount, that looked kind of funky too. We're in the head mount with it pointing down. But yeah, we'll, we'll do some of that. So even lunch, yeah, you guys can sit with us at lunch. We can all have lunch time together. But uh, I'm planning to do that probably next week. Like when we're shipping whatnot orders, I might even like have the chest mount there. Uh, and, I can't show everybody's address. Oh yeah, I can't show people's addresses. Yeah, that won't work. Yeah, that won't work. So, okay, so we can't do that. That just killed that idea. <laughs> Sorry to But maybe shut like you setting up there, a whatnot but... <laughs> show and stuff. Maybe we could do a first person like I'm um, loading the items in the light box and taking the photos and or, or loading the things onto the screen, whatever. We can do any of those. So that'll be pretty cool. We'll figure it out. Um, how much do you sell Janu scrubs for? I cannot get a buyer for mine. Typically like 20 to 22 plus ship, right? We don't really sell yeah, them the, too high. Yeah, the joggers do a little better. Sometimes the pants would be more like 22. Yeah. But yeah, between 17 and 20. Have you heard that the next Nordstrom Rex is? They just had a they just had a twenty five percent off extra extra on clearance. I have a feeling that they're going to be doing a big clearance sale here coming pretty soon um, because they still have a bunch of stuff. Same with TJ Maxx and Marshalls. TJ Maxx and Marshalls typically do their yellow tag clearance event around January February, so that should be happening pretty soon. Um, but I think Nordstrom Rack is going to be be like really doing some crazy deals. They might do that five ten fifteen event again, and if they do that. I am literally leaving this. I'm leaving and going to every Nordstrom rack in the area because that was such a good deal. Five, I'll 10, actually 15. know what I'm looking for this time because last time I bought for myself because I had no idea. That 510, 15 event was for. crazy. <laughs> if something was clearanced for $300, let's say it was $9,000, it was clearanced to $300 for some reason, and you still were able to get it for $15 because everything over $100 mm -hmm. clearance was marked down to. $15, I believe is what it was. That was crazy. You can literally go through the store and buy all the super expensive stuff. So yeah. And I wasn't even buying suits and blazers at the time. I left some really good suits and blazers behind. So I kind of wish I didn't, but that was a really good sale. Hopefully they bring that back again. I have a feeling they, they are because they have so much inventory. Why don't you show your retail arbitrage? Because I have a hundred and 200 plus people watching me right now. If I showed the pieces that I got everybody would go out to all their stores and buy them. So I have to make sure that I hit all of mine first and find all the goodies. And then I'll let you guys know what I picked up. That's why I can't say it. Cause there, anybody who's watching in my area could just go to the stores and pick up exactly what I'm picking up. Uh, with GoPro, can we see Ethan's hair um, promptor and flip in first person? <laughs> yes. Yes, we can. I'll make sure we show that. Um, I'd be buying for myself too. Uh, That's what I did. But now I know what I'm looking for. <laughs> when you when, when will you do the reveal? Oh, you're talking about my belly? Hey, listen, I'm going to the gym, okay? But I do have one cooking down here. This you is gonna went, go away. You went one day. I went one day. You, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going, okay? <laughs> Don't I'm worry. Keep guys. Going. I'm gonna make him keep going with me in the morning. What's up, Rhonda? Uh Nordstrom Mac or TJ Maxx. Uh do you return items that don't sell? No, I've never done that before. Even though you can do that, I've never done it before. I've I've never ever done that before. <coughs> all right who was one day yeah one day um do you mark your items sold using list perfectly i don't list perfectly um has a way to do that but it's not automatic so instead of logging into list perfectly and doing that i'd rather just do it on, on my phone just literally go in and mark mark things sold just that easy um just pull it down from the uh from the um platforms i can't talk right now go raise See that? My shirt. Why are you? You're a Yankees fan. Why are you wearing that? Because it was free oh, okay. last time I went to the game, mm -hmm. and it's my pajamas. So How many sales do you average a day? So if it's just eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, we average about twelve-ish sales per day. If you count in whatnot, um, it's a lot more than twelve sales per day. So last last uh, month on December, we had an average of thirty point eight sales per day. November was thirty six point two sales per day. October was 34.6 sales per day. So we're averaging over 30 sales per day because of whatnot. And the new year, because we're doing five shows a day, uh, five shows a week, our average sales per day will probably be somewhere around 75 to start. And then by the time we really ramp up our shows, our average sales per day will probably be around 125 to 150. So that's just because we sell on whatnot. That's why our average sales are a little bit higher. Um, any other similar sales like TJ Maxx and Nordstrom? Um, Burlington does good sales um, and so does Ross. Ross does like a really, really deep discount 
where you can get shoes for like, I think it's like a couple dollars or something like that. And you gotta be quick. As soon as you see that sale on social media, go run. Because if you wait too long, you'll never make it. I used to literally call out of work and go to all the stores in my area when I found out about that sale because if I waited to the weekend, you have to go midweek because if you wait to the weekend, all the good stuff will be gone. Hanger tomorrow, yes, hanger drop tomorrow. If you guys need some hangers, the hangers that we use, the flat lay hangers, make sure that you go through Trisha Smith 86's TikTok shop. These will be available tomorrow. I get asked about these all the time. That's who I get this from is Trisha. So if you need a hanger, go to Trisha, buy yourself a hanger, um, flat lay hangers. These are really good. And they only drop them like once every year because that's how long it takes Jesse to make more of them, right, Jesse? Mm -hmm. um, I have uh, around 500 postcards. I want to change postcards last word. Where are the title? Wait, I don't know what that means, fat. Fart sack. Fart sack. I don't know. Say what that, that name Fart sack. like five times. Fart fast. sack Jack. Fart sack Jack. You have Fart to think Jack. about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you sell new shoes? We do. We do sell new shoes every now and then. About that, LOL. Any up updates when Autobusher will have auto delete listings? That's when they come out with the cross lister. Um, until she has the cross lister, there's no need for auto delete listings. You can go the, you can go through and hit delete on all platforms if you have the inventory feature um, set up, and then you can go through and delete your items that way. But um, auto delister will come out when the um, when the cross lister comes out. And you have to make your listings inside of Auto Posture, kind of like you have to do on List Perfectly. You have to make them inside of Auto Posture for that auto delister to work. So all your previous listings won't be able to be auto delisted. So just keep that in mind. Once it comes out, you got to start listing. That, I think that's how she's going to do it. That's how she explained it to me. His Wrangler George Straight Pearl button ups okay to sell? I typically try to buy those for five or under, and they're going to sell for twenty plus ship. So yeah. All right. I think we're good. I appreciate you guys hanging out today. We're not going to be live tomorrow morning because we're going thrifting tomorrow. We're going to make a video for um, YouTube. So we'll be out thrifting, but we'll be back to the morning lives on Friday. And then we should be back for a while doing morning lives because next week is the week we start doing whatnot. So we'll probably do some shipping lives in the morning, stuff like that. The routine will change up a little bit, but we'll try to keep it for the most part the same. So yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out. And we'll catch you tomorrow night, probably on whatnot. I'll do a consignment unboxing tomorrow on whatnot. So appreciate you guys hanging out. Catch you on the next one. Bye. Peace.